Hey y'all, so I recently went to Dollar Tree. Y'all know I gotta limit my Dollar Tree visits to like once every couple months because I get a little out of control, but I found some cute Christmas stuff I wanna share with you and I went in there hungry, which you should never do. I bought this, this isn't even all of it. Bought some junk food and I had to try most of it for you so I could give you a review, duh. So if a Dollar Tree haul sounds fun to you, just keep watching. I'm gonna just start with the Christmas stuff because I didn't get a ton so I think this is a great deal this is 52 pieces of adhesive gift tags now the only thing I think people may not like is that they are all different designs so me I'm like the opposite of a perfectionist so none of my Christmas wrapping is gonna match I picked out whatever I like to so look how pretty that is Anyway, just gift tags, 52 gift tags for a dollar. You really can't beat that, y'all. So anyway, yeah, I thought that was a good deal. Um, okay, they brought these back. I don't think these were there last year because I looked unless my store just didn't get them. So these are little plastic containers. Cute, cute, cute. Um, they had a couple different designs. This one says Baking Spirits Bright. And it has the little gingerbread men and the gingerbread house on it. I actually got two of these. And I like these for Christmas time because I'm usually baking, baking, baking. I just love to bake during Christmas time. And these are the perfect containers to like bring cookies to someone's house. Or even as a gift, um, I'm actually going to be seeing my friends coming up. Haven't seen one of my friends. Uh, they just recently got engaged, so it's really exciting. And I haven't seen my one friend in, God, almost a year and a half, two years, something like that. So anyway, um, whenever I meet up with her, I'm going to bake some cookies and give this to her as a gift. Okay, so I think that's I think those are great. Those are going to sell out quick. Even the cashier at the Dollar Tree, she was like, oh, I haven't seen those before. I did get wrapping paper. I did plan. Oh, I'm hitting all the stuff. I did plan to get all my uh, wrapping paper for Christmas this year at Goodwill. However, apparently a lot of other people had that same idea because it was all sold out at, and I'm talking at the mega store Goodwill. It was all sold out. Did y'all see my Goodwill uh, rant yesterday? I'll link that above if you want to hear me bitching about Goodwill. All right, back to the Dollar Tree haul. So they had some cute wrapping paper. Look at this. Hello Kitty Christmas wrapping paper. Had to get that one. They had SpongeBob. Now, I don't know if they had these last year. You guys let me know. SpongeBob wrapping paper. Um, yeah, I know none of this stuff matches and if you have or if you're like OCD about like matching gift wrapping paper Then sorry <laughs> I just picked out the gift wrap that I thought was nice and I'm probably gonna need more. I bet you this stuff is gonna sell out quick. This is that little red truck Do you know how much this would be at Target? How much is this? 40 square feet. This would be like five dollars at Target. I got it for a buck at Dollar Tree. Anyway, if you need gift wrap, the cute gift wrap, def ooh, hit my tree. Definitely go now to Dollar Tree because my wrapping paper is about to fall off my couch. It's definitely going to sell out. Okay. Junk food time. Oh, first, before the junk food, I will show you. I got these bowls, these big plastic bowls. These are the best salad bowls. I cracked my last one. I got two. I don't know if you can tell. There's two bowls here. These, if you like a big salad, like I'm a salad eater. I eat like a big salad at least once a week, usually more than that. And I like to mix stuff, you know? And it's not fun if you get like a little salad bowl. Like it's hard to mix stuff. So these, you can find this in like the party section. Yeah, totally, totally would recommend. Oh, I need to get something out the fridge for this food review. One second. All right, I wanted to grab this out the fridge. I guess I'll just start with this. So, I went through the fridge section, the refrigerated stuff, and this is the French onion dip by Breckenridge Farms, and I already busted into it. That's how it looks. 
And uh, here's my review, and I'm gonna try to give you a number for every single thing here. Most of this I have tried, some of this I haven't, but future editing Alicia will pop up her review on the side. So I got these wavy chips from Dollar Tree, this French onion dip, and I have some opinions. I thought it was pretty good. This, it doesn't have a strong, strong onion flavor. It kind of just tastes like Brixton. My dogs are fighting. Hopefully you didn't hear that. So this doesn't have like a super strong onion flavor. Like I know a lot of the onion dips that I like, they have like actual chunks of like minced onion. This is more like a sour cream ranch kind of flavor. Like it's more subdued. So um, I think it's still good though. Um, I'm definitely going to be dipping like broccoli in this later today. I think it, I think it's good. I give I give this a seven out of ten. Just it, because it is good, it just doesn't have a ton of onion flavor. I think if they added minced onions inside of that, it could be like a nine. Oh, and also, tell me how they had this size and then they had one this size. I was like, who would buy the smaller one? But I guess someone does because they're selling it. These are just their generic uh, wavy potato chips. Nine out of 10, delicious. I mean, I really couldn't tell a difference. I'll just do all the chips real quick. I got some sour cream and onion. I haven't tried these yet, but future Alicia will pop up her rating on the side here. Um, I have faith in them because the other chips, the wavy chips were delicious. I also got the barbecue potato chips. Future Alicia will update you on the side. Okay, I was going down the Christmas candy aisle. I have seen this all over Pinterest. This is the hot chocolate bomb. So a lot of people are making these as Christmas gifts. You just get chocolate and you melt it, you put marshmallows in there, and then you make your hot chocolate and you dump this in there and it's supposed to melt into like little marshmallows. So I got this and we all know Swiss Miss hot chocolate. We all know that's good. So I'm gonna try this tonight. I'll go ahead and put my rating. I have high hopes for this. I mean, it looks good. Like how can you, how can you screw up chocolate? So I don't know, we'll see about that. I, I think I'm gonna like it. I was shocked about these. So I've already eaten all of these. And this is called Jennifer's Garden Traditional Spring Rolls. I kind of ripped, this is how they look. I kind of ripped this part off. Okay, so you get 10 mini vegetable spring rolls. Let me tell you the ingredients, they're not bad. It has cabbage, cabbage, carrots, mushrooms, green beans, vermicelli, salt, spice, vegetable oil. Not bad, I will tell you. So, these have a really thick, I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. First off, that's my rating. These have a very thick like wrapper and there's not a ton of filling. So when I was cooking them, I realized I had to fry these suckers up. You gotta get them to a golden, golden brown, almost burn them because if you don't cook them for a long time and you just get like this golden color here, I found that the wrapping was like rubbery and still soft. So I cooked them, I fried them, I didn't bake them. You definitely gotta fry these if you get them. I just fried them really, really crisp, and y'all, these were good. These were good. If you've baked them, you probably think they suck, but they're pretty good. If you fry them right, eight out of 10. Okay, I accidentally got these. I meant to get the crispy chocolates. Uh, this is, I think it's Palmer. Yeah, Palmer little milk chocolates. Um, honestly, I give these a four out of 10. I thought I got, a, I got the crispy ones. Anyway, Brandon said these were all right. He, he ate like five last night, so I don't know. Maybe he rated them a little bit higher than I did. This is that chocolate that like, if it's around, you'll eat, but you're not gonna go out of your way to get it, right? Okay, last trash food, and I just got this, and there's only one left. I give these an eight out of 10. Uh, these are Buddy Bars, so if you're familiar with, what is it, Little Debbie, her bars, they're extremely similar, except these are just a dollar. I don't know how much Little Debbie's are. You get eight in here for a dollar. I think these are delicious. Um, they're, I mean, they're a, 
a replica, basically. Very, very good would buy again. Okay, I did get a couple random things I wanna share with y'all. Um, a couple of these are like my go-to, like what I always buy at Dollar Tree. I love to buy my sponges at Dollar Tree. You get six for a dollar. I haven't been able to find a deal close to this anywhere else. I think at Walmart, I get four for like $3. Um, and it's, it's the, I mean, it's just a sponge, okay? It's nothing, nothing crazy. Um, it has a little bit of a Brillo pad, but not really. Um, anyway, I, I like it. They call it Nail Guard. Nail Guard Sponge. I really like these, um, and it's the best deal for the buck, so I get them. Something else I love to get, especially around the holidays when you're maybe entertaining, plastic forks, plastic spoons. Again, this is a great deal. 48 forks for a dollar. I think at Walmart, again, I probably paid three, four dollars for that spoons same deal so these are something i love to buy at dollar tree and this is something i've been needing for a while not this exact thing i really y'all know i have like a lot of hair these are jaw clips and really i want something that i can i, I probably need one a lot bigger than this um that's what she said okay anyway i want to pull my hair back and like clip it up but i think with these i'm probably only going to be able to like be able to do like a half up half down hairstyle and I do like to clip up my hair like when I'm <laughs> when I'm doing really anything around the house I don't like my hair in my way and I'm really trying not to use ponytails um especially with my hair and if I use a ponytail like for example last night I pulled my hair up in a bun to go to sleep and I woke up my whole hair was curly I have to straighten it again it's like a whole ordeal so I anyway I'm trying to use more clips. I'm probably gonna have to go to Ulta or maybe Walmart, probably Walmart. I, I, if I can avoid Ulta, I will. And I wanna get the bigger clip, but these will do for the time being. I just wanna get more into the clip game. That was my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't really go to Dollar Tree all that often. I think I've only done maybe two Dollar Tree hauls this whole year on my channel. Um, I probably won't be going back again for another month at least, but let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video. Also, leave your favorite Dollar Tree junk food in the comments down below. I would love to know what your favorite Dollar Tree junk food is. I think they've recently discontinued my favorite one. My favorite one, if I can find a picture, I'll pop it up here. It was their Chewy brand granola bars in the rainbow chip. It was just like super sweet granola bars with like M&M's, like not M&M's, but they were like like chocolate, like coated, candy coated chocolate. You know, they're not M&M, but delicious. They were absolutely delicious. I haven't been able to find them for, God, almost, almost a year, I want to say. It's been a while. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing your favorite junk food in the comments below. Maybe we'll try that for the next Dollar Tree video. And I'll catch you tomorrow for a new fun video. I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, it's my what sold, like what I've been selling on eBay and Poshmark. So if you're interested, that video will be out tomorrow and I'll see you again then. Bye y'all.